Hey there gorgeous, I hope you're having a fabulous day. It is such a pleasure to see you. In today's video, I'm sharing a review for some products I have been testing out from iHerb. If you're not familiar with iHerb, this is your one-stop shop for beauty, and I shop there very frequently. They have a lot of amazing skincare products that you would never know about because they're not in your traditional brick and mortar stores. But a lot of these brands are Korean beauty brands, Japanese beauty brands, and I have discovered so many great items there. So it's always such a pleasure to test out and try new products from this website. The first product I have to share with you that has been amazing, I love, love, love this product, is from a brand I had never tried before putting this video together for you. This is from Simply Beautiful. This is their Coconut Smoothing Micro Polish. This is an exfoliating cream for the face. So after you have cleansed your face, you take a little bit of this onto your fingertips and you gently massage it into your skin. It's not rough, it's not harsh, which is what I love the most about it, but then afterwards, my gosh, I wish you could reach through the camera and feel my skin. My skin feels so soft after using this product, and I only use it about two times a week. That's really all that I have found that I need, but my goodness. It feels like dermaplaning. That's the best way I can describe it to you. It feels like I shaved my face. And I love that it's not like I'm rubbing sand on my face because some of these exfoliators that are out there can be like, you know it's too harsh for facial skin. This one is perfect and I love, love, love it. Another product I've been testing out that I've really come to love is this oil. It's a cleansing oil from the brand Radiant Soul Beauty. And this is their hydrating bubble cleansing oil. So what you do is you apply this onto dry skin and it dissolves everything. It dissolves every trace of makeup, stubborn mascara, eyeliner, etc. Everything comes off. And the best part is it doesn't strip your face of beneficial oils. It still leaves a lot of them on and your skin feels hydrated and soft after using it. It doesn't feel more dried out. That's always my complaint when it comes to some of these facial cleansers is it just dries out your skin more. And that's why I've always been such a big fan of cleansing oils the second that I discovered them. And I love this one. Along the same lines with this brand, I was trying out some other things from this brand because I had never heard from them before. They also have this firming sheet mask which you apply on the face, you let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. There is a lot of essence in this mask, which I particularly really love. And I like to slather that on my neck and on the back of my hands and just everywhere I possibly can. <laughs> and I've really been enjoying how it makes my skin feel afterwards. As far as firming goes, I've not noticed any firming per se, but I will say the level of hydration in my skin is noticeably improved after using those masks. Also from this brand is their Soothing Pearl Peel Off Mask. Now this one was quite interesting. When I first used it, I applied it and it says very specifically on the directions, do not put it into your eyebrows, like avoid your eyebrows and your hairline. And I think it's because they tell you to peel it off once you first put it on. Well, of course I didn't do that. <laughs> I did get it in my eyebrows. I had it everywhere. But the great thing is that I didn't experience any difficulty with removing it. I actually applied a little less than what I probably should have the first time I used it and it didn't peel off. So what I had to do was remove it with warm water and it worked great removing it like that. So when you are using this, you do want to apply a little bit more onto your face than you would a traditional mask so that you are able to peel it off. And I just let it sit on my face for about 10 minutes and then I took it off and my skin did feel fresher, cleaner after having used it. It says on here that it helps tighten pores, promotes skin bounce and enhances luminosity. And it does contain calming and soothing extracts. And you can feel that when you have it on your face and after you take it off, your skin does feel calmer and soothed after having used this. So I had a great experience with it all the way around. Next product I have to share with you is the Serum Dippity. I love the name. I love the name, Serum Dippity. I'm just gonna say it again because I love the name. This is their Vitamin C Facial Serum. So you apply this to your face after cleansing in the morning or at night. What vitamin C does is it brightens and lightens the skin. It helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and age spots. It hydrates, it's pH balanced, and it is something that you do want to be careful of with sun exposure. That's what I do remember about vitamin C. So if you are using this, you want to make sure that you're following it up 
with a sunscreen over the top to protect your skin from the sun. Another one I want to recommend to you that I have really been enjoying is from Idea Love. This is their IC Youth Super Ferment Eye Cream. This contains peptides, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid, and you can feel a difference in the eye area. I have noticed that when I don't use it, I experience more dried out skin around my eye area and my makeup doesn't go on as smoothly as when I am using eye cream on a everyday basis and so I have noticed that with my own eye area and so I really love trying out different eye creams and this one has been really great and it works really well underneath makeup too so I've really been enjoying it from that standpoint. Another vitamin C product I have been testing out is from Prescript Skin. This is their vitamin C moisturizer. And the way that you apply this is after cleansing, you can apply it on your face and on your neck, both in the morning and night. Vitamin C is one of those things that is good to have in your skincare because it does help to fight free radicals and it does provide a great level of hydration to the skin and it also helps to revitalize the skin. So if you're not incorporating vitamin C in, it is one of those really great ingredients to have within your skincare regimen. And last product I have to share with you is a retinol cleanser, and this is from Prescript Skin, the same brand that I talked about with the vitamin C moisturizer. Retinol is known to help reduce the signs of premature aging, fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven skin tone. This cleanser does provide a gentle exfoliation to the skin. It's really smooth, soft. It doesn't feel like your skin is stripped after using it, and I, found myself really enjoying using it. I do tend to use it more so at night than during the day. I also want to add with this cleanser, there is a smell associated with it. It is a little strong. I know several people have remarked on the fact that they like that I mentioned that there are scents in especially skincare products. This one does have one. I want to make you aware of it. It is on the stronger side, so just be aware. <laughs> If you are interested in trying any of these products out for yourself, I will have them listed and linked for you below. They are available on iHerb's website. I strongly recommend them. I have found so many wonderful products through shopping with them, and I know that you will be pleased with any one of these options that I shared with you here today. Thank you so much for being here, for taking the time to watch, and I want to wish you a beautifully blessed week, day, week ahead, whenever you may be watching this, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.